right, man. Welcome back, Benchwoman Report. Um, it's been a long summer of nothing, but today is a new day, and um, especially football's back. Finally, football's back. Um, there's a lot of things to talk about. We, yeah, we definitely have all all things NFL drama. Uh, where do we been? We begin. We got a bunch of 50 year old men um, socking each other in the face with boxing gloves. Um, we got um, Connor. Showing up at the VMAs in a pink suit, trying to knock out Machine Gun Kelly. Um, what else we got? Um, we got um, we got baseball coming down to an end, almost playoff time. It's a lot. You know, it's finally time to start to actually talking about baseball, because you know we don't really talk about baseball before yeah, playoffs come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are not gonna like that, especially. I actually I don't know any like heavy baseball heads. I really don't. I know a couple. But they never really, they never really like out there like oh like you talking bad on baseball name. They just kind of like oh we get it, you know. There's really not much to talk about. Even they know that uh, baseball is boring to watch yeah. unless you're there in person. Well, speaking of something that's not boring, let's start with um, yesterday. So, what was what was something that stood out the most? For for you <clears throat> from um, NFL Week One, like like what's the top drama for you? Oh, easily A Rod. A Rod. All right, we'll start there. So, is it just one game, or is it like we should panic a little bit? Well, not we, but you know, if you're a Packer fan, like should you panic? I mean, the Saints are the Saints still, so the Saints are still a great team, so we can't really right discount that. But to get blown out by thirty five. Week one is kind of tough, right? Right. I don't think you gotta panic. It's week one. I would say, give it to week four. I think you. I think we gotta give a lot of credits to Winston. He uh, played good. He played phenomenal. I never seen him that fast. Yeah, he was. He looked good. Out there. He looked. He looked in shape. He looked commanding of the field. He looked pretty like energetic. He confident. He didn't make like stupid decision. There was a few where I was like, eh. But overall, he played, like, the the most perfect game that he could ever put together, you know? Mm-hmm. And and he set the record for the most touching, uh, well, most pass touchdowns thrown with the least amount of yards or some bullshit like that because he threw five for one, on 148. Right, right. Which is not a lot. But, so, is it so much of, like, because they still got Alvin Kamara, and Alvin Kamara was great yesterday. Mm-hmm. Is it so much of... Winston, or is it like the Packer defense just ain't fucking good? That's probably a little both, because I mean, I mean, who do they really have on D? Let's see. Um, you know, they never really invested in their defense like that after got, that one year where they had like Julius Peppers and well, well no, they got Matthews. a couple. Um, they got a uh, Adrian Amos. They got him from uh, Chicago. Right. They got Preston Smith, Kenny Clark, Jair. Preston Smith is kind of. Eh. Yeah, all right. Yeah, just just Elvin overall, Jenkins. all right, of Zadar- a defense. And then Zadarius Smith. I never really liked him. He's he has his moments, and then he has his other moments. And then Darnell Savage and King, but King was getting cooked. Yeah. So overall, just a very mediocre defense. Like they don't really have like top flight talent where you can say like, oh, that's 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 one of the top defensive player in any position. No. You know. No. So. It is just one game, but to me, I I want to compare it to that one year where you know, like they went on a run, but before the run, yeah, they, they were losing, and then he went to the press conference. He was like, you know, guys, chill out. Like, yeah, they we, went like uh, what zero and two, zero and three that year, and then they was saying like, our Packers done this year, and he was like, relax, and then that was when he said relax, and then after that, they, right. they pretty much. Uh, they ran the table that year, I think. Right. Like they pretty much, they went, I say I'm lying, they went like maybe one and four or something like that, mm-hmm. maybe. And then he said relax. Right. And then they ran the table. And they ran the table. won every single won. game. Exactly. And then almost. I think they almost went to the Super Bowl. Or that might have been the year they went to the Super Bowl. Right. Oh, my God. He threw another pick. Oh, Derek Carr? Oh, uh, Derek Carr is so no. terrible. Oh, no. It's not a pick. It's just a fourth down. Oh. All right. What? Hold up. Let's just. Damn it, I have Waller. And that's, that's holding. That, that's holding. Anyways, go back. Um, yeah, so they ran the table. But some some tells me is a little different this year around. Like, something tells me, like, 
I don't get that sense of like they can snap out of it and like run start running the table. I feel like the defense is not that great. Um, the chemistry with the remainder of the receivers, eh. and then Aaron Jones, could he really keep up what he did last year? I don't see that. So like Jamal could, Williams helped out a lot being the being the second back. So did you? To be honest, it's it's one game, but you could. You can tell there's different. Obviously, he doesn't want to be there. That's, that's they need to trade him. That's what I'm saying. I'm trying to give it after week, but from like I said, I only watched till like maybe the second quarter. Right. And it was bad already by the time the second quarter. It was uh, what was it in the second quarter? Seventeen was, zero uh, or seventeen uh, three? three. Yeah, yeah seventeen three. I was like, yeah. I mean, I was like, you know what? A Rock could still come back, but I was like, mm. no, I'm not. I'm gonna just go ahead and watch this Chiefs game. It almost, it almost felt like so lackluster because like. He tried to get it going, but the offense just wasn't clicking. It felt like they checked out. Yeah, he, that's what I'm saying. I want to give it. He checked out. He checked. Not just him. Yeah. The line wasn't really blocking. His receivers wasn't really catching the, the ball. The defense kind of gave up as soon as they felt like the offense wasn't going to give them that boost. Yeah, it just seemed like everybody on the team checked out. I don't, not just A Rod. He did look like he checked out. Right. There, but I, that's what I'm saying. I want to give it a week, okay. like at least two more games, and then I want to come back and see. How the Packers are doing? Because right now it's still early. It's still week one. Okay. I'm pretty sure they'll all wake up this week and be like, okay. Yeah, and it, and it was different because it wasn't in New Orleans. They were playing in Jacksonville. Yeah. So it was a different. It was pretty humid. Uh, That's not, not an excuse. I, it's not an excuse, but That's it's not an excuse. it's not an excuse, but it's a little different because you were preparing for the you know the the trip and the, no, the travel true. was a little different. That's so I'm I'm not saying excuse. I'm just saying you know it, it's a part of the factor. So you just kind of have to speak uh, on that. Yeah. And also you know a Rod not really showing up in the uh, the the preseason. You know not really being there from the get go. Like how much that... OTAs and all that probably affected a lot of the chemistry. Even though he's played with all these receivers before, right? That would still if you're not there, it's going to affect the chemistry. If most of the time they're catching balls from Jordan Love, right? But and Devontae I'll... Adams since he. But also, Devontae had his own issues with the contract. Yeah, so he was holding out too. So right, they so, all just got to really get in the, once they get in the rhythm. I think they're gonna be all right. I th- I think they're gonna be all right from an offensive standpoint. I don't <laughs> think they're gonna be all right from a defensive standpoint. But well, that'd be fine if offensively they could put up forty points a game. Yeah, but I mean, the defense is serviceable. Yeah, but it's not terrible. But the you come in, far from terrible. But they coming out the NFC like you. You got to go up against Seattle. You got to go up against AZ. You got to go. You got to go up against Tampa. You got to go Orleans. up against Rams. New Orleans and New Orleans. And then who else am I missing? Uh, that's a, that's about like the top uh, top teams. Maybe San Francisco. Maybe, but they just lost most uh, most. Their, um, maybe 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 we it. put up numbers against them. I mean the I Vikings, we with Cooks and Thielen and and against San Francisco or Green Bay? No, uh, against Green Bay. Oh yeah, that's possible. Yeah, 